Yeah, that's how it's supposed to sound. going on guys uh, welcome back to another video so a couple videos ago I had a video on wrapping exhaust headers and we wrapped the Nvidia race headers on this RSX all right guys so this is it all done wrapping it uh, not too bad I guess given I'm doing it out here in my, in my little porch over here and then the video after that, it was me and Steve installing it. All right guys, so it took a little bit of finagling, but we were able to get the header in there. But as you can see, the header is in. gonna go to backyard auto to get you know the full exhaust done and everything um, that's where I'm that's where I'm at right now I already talked to them uh, there's there's a bunch of trucks in front of me because uh, apparently some company <laughs> had their like catalytic converters stolen off their, their uh, box trucks or whatever so I'm, I, I'm gonna have to leave the car here uh, I kind of wanted to like stay and video like some some of the process or whatever but I mean, I, I don't think I could stay for like six plus hours, <laughs> you know, like I'd rather go do something else. Um, but yeah, so right here, my vibrant uh, resonator and there's a vibrant exhaust under there, three inches. Fabricator here, he's gonna do a whole three inch piping for me. I told him the whole deal about the header and everything. So uh, yeah, and then I should be getting my O2 sensor and an O2 sensor wire extension in today too. Uh, I'm gonna put that on later so I can finally take care of this check engine light that I've had since I got this car last last year so <laughs> that way that will be gone and it'll the car will be running like 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 a top you know like how it's supposed to be so so I'll see y'all when my my when my exhaust is done eventually Ooh, yeah and it's done Yeah, that's how it's supposed to sound. Do that again. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, you talking? kick it on, and double, tap the floor real quick, so it'll jerk forward. Yeah, my, my engine mounts are, I need, I've been needing to, needing to replace okay. them for a while. Okay, that's fine. Like, um, I would say, well, only on the startup right now, when I know that I turned it on, you when the motor cranks over, you know how it vibrates? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Boom, it hits one time, and then it turns on. Okay. So, yeah, that, they're, <laughs> they're the original ones after around 140,000, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some Haspel ones and all that, so. Uh -huh. Thanks, man. That's how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. So I got my car back. Um, everything's well. Ev almost everything's good. It sounds good. Everything like finally the, the car sounds proper. Or one problem, which I kind of already knew I had this problem, but it didn't. Uh, but it's now affecting this new exhaust. Is um, uh, other than the O2 stuff. Uh, that I'm, I'm going to Steve's later to, so he can help me uh, put this on. But unfortunately, my motor mounts and all those are bad right now. I mean, they've always been bad, but now it's when the engine vibrates uh, at certain RPMs or you know whatever, 
you could hear the piping of the exhaust hit the hit the bottom of the floor. It'll rock, and then you could hear it kind of bounce off the floor of the car. So next mod, what well, next big mod is gonna have to be motor mounts. And I've already had in mind what I want. I just kind of need the money to do it first. <laughs> so yeah. So I'll catch y'all at Steve's place. Twelve seconds later. All right, guys. So here at Steve's place. We uh, pretty much all we did was uh, put a new O2 sensor, uh, an upstream one, and uh, we put a piece of radiator piping where the uh, exhaust pipe was hitting against the, the floor of the car. We put, so I got a new upstream one. That's, uh, which is, but the thing is, the one I already had on the car was an upstream one. I didn't know it until after the fact. But it's fine, I got a new O2 sensor there, it's gonna last the life of the car, or whatever. So, the check engine light's still there, because I don't have a downstream one. The downstream one is not that expensive, I mean, I'll, I'll probably eventually get one. Uh, so that way we could uh, throw that on, re uh, reset the codes, and it should be okay. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I did. You see that piece, we cut off a piece of radiator hose and stuffed it where it was making contact. Um, that's just for now. Uh, it, it was actually just, the, the space was just big enough for that radiator hose piece. Uh, that's just there for now until I get uh, actual good motor mounts. The O2 thing, I didn't really solve my problem with that, but you know, it'll, it'll get solved. But. This car is a little bit more respectable now. It sounds good. We just need to get rid of that check engine light and it'll be a nice driving car after that. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. You know, like this video, share it, comment if you want. Uh, follow me and Steve on Instagram. And before I close out the video, here's a few flyby shots of how the exhaust sounds.